Ugh. God, this thing is garbage. <laughs> Four revs. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So make sure you save this piece right here. Sometimes it gets stuck in the cat, I heard. Make sure you save it, it's like very brittle. This won't, the new cat right here, it's not gonna fit in here without that little, whatever that is. What are you looking for, dog? this part off the new cat I'm trying to get the old cat off there's two bolts up here this one right here yeah, we grab it. it gets stuck you can't take it out those allen bolts someone said uh, loosen those ones you could slide that out but i can't get those loosened there's no space in there now that's the problem i'm having something over here has got to come off this whole thing has got to come off I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I had to take the swing arm bolt off. That's too much. I'm not trying to do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to figure out something. And this was difficult. Because this bolt right here was the way, the way they put this clamp was like right there. I had to bend this down to get that out. Just problem after problem here. Oh my god. I'm trying to get this long bolt out. Barely. I could bend it with the hammer. I could get it to like almost in this gap, but it's still not going to fit through here. Oh man. I have to figure something out. Gotta be a way to do it. Alright, current predicament. <laughs> Got a 23 millimeter bolt to take this whole rear set off so I can get this bolt out. That bolt. Uh, 23 millimeter will not fit on there <laughs> so next thing is there's some allen key or allen uh allen bolts in there two of them they'll take this set off that this bolts holding to like the bracket but i can't reach in there and get it can't get it so i took the brake bracket off or whatever this is zip tied it right here and now it's almost clear to it I just bend this a little more i'm gonna have to bend it it's the only thing i can think of to get it out I'm not going and getting another socket. <laughs> I can't get the Allen, the Allen uh, bolts. They're up there somewhere, right up here somewhere, right behind this hammer. Can't reach in there and get it. I don't have a small enough wrench. Even the Allen keys is too tight. Uh, I'm gonna have to bend it, but let's hope I can get this hammer out and then somehow pull it out. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh my god, this is a pain. <laughs> Damn it, you CF moto. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Alright. Finally, rear pegs off. Foot pegs, where are they? Right there. Oh, thank god. <laughs> it's gone. Oh. oh. God, this thing is garbage. Here's the old one. I mean, <laughs> what am I doing? Here's the old one. Damn bracket. <laughs> and then here's a new one. This one's still hot. What? I haven't turned this thing on in hours. Let's put this one on now. Uh, make sure you save these things. That's what I was talking about earlier. Pretty fragile. You can break. You can let little. You can call them washers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there is a baffle. It's right there. It's like not even a baffle. It's pretty much straight pipe. You can see it. 
little combs in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much a straight pipe, though. Like, it's going to be loud. It's going to be pretty loud. Fuck that thing. It's all because of this. Oh, my God. It's all because of this thing right here. Because the bolt went through this. So it had no play at all. There was just not this here. Just the bolt going through and two holes would have been so much better. But yeah, this thing's heavy. This thing got multiple, multiple balance. Like, I started the um, bike uh -huh. with just the cat on there. Sound exactly the same. So the pipe's not... This pipe is not doing much. It's all this cat that's causing the noise. See. So... <laughs> this is going to get a lot better. Uh, all right. So we put that... What is that called? Washer in there. But the washer up here would not fit. So we're not going to run it for now. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone really have any problems with it. Putting this one on. Mm. Like all, there's some people that said I it doesn't run right. I put the old one back on, but to be honest, other there's so many people that said it ran fine with this. So. Of course, there's gonna be a little bit of problems. It's running more lean now. Once you put that on, it's already lean. You can tell by the purple on the exhaust up here on the heads. But it's gonna run more lean, so that whole pipe in the front might turn purple. But no one really said any big problems. Not bad. We'll purple see. Might. Purple is nice. <laughs> we'll fucking see. Are you gonna hold it? Yeah. Alright. Let's see what happens here. Where the exhaust just blows <laughs> off. <laughs> Good as hell though. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's loud. That is loud. It'll be a little quieter when it's out of here though, because it echoes in here. But that's exactly that's like still that sounds good as hell. Well, that was fucking pain, but I think it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. And you just gotta ride it tomorrow. Guys, first ride with the new exhaust. I'm excited. Oh my god. <laughs> I hit neutral right there. <laughs> Sounds good. Now the thing is, I want to see if I lost some power though. That's the biggest thing. I want to see if I lost any power because it is way, it's running way, uh, way more lean. <laughs> the guy in the bus is waving to me. The kid. <laughs> they still waving. That sounds great. The downshifts, they already sounded good with the stop cat. Now they sound even better. CF Moto needs to come out with the tuning already here in America. Who's that behind me? Oh, it's a motorcycle. I thought it was like a crotch, uh, not a crotch rack, but one of those little Walmart uh, motorcycles. Uh, it's a real motorcycle. I think it actually looks pretty nice. I think it looks nice as hell. What is that, Indian? Uh, I don't know. You got some girl, like a naked girl on the front. Cut in front of the cop. I don't care. Say his territory. It's fine.
Yeah, it, it's still got the same top speed, but definitely lost some acceleration. It's kind of saddening. CF Moto needs to come out with the tuning for this bike already. I want it to run regular. I don't want it to be lean or rich or nothing. I want it to run good. Quick downshift. Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it's actually the first bike I've had that has uh, exhaust on it. KP Mini, I never ordered the exhaust for it, and the x can't get exhaust. They didn't have to do that. They could have got it over. I'm, I'm always ready for them. I like I saw them doing it. Well, the car in front I did not see, but I was I was okay if there's someone who was doing it. I knew the car up front was going slow, like three cars ahead or whatever, or two cars ahead was going slow. So I was ready for them. I was ready for that back car to get over. So for them to just get back over to their lane is pretty nice. Not required. <laughs> not for me at least. Some people get mad. Some bikers. That's not me. Woo wee! Sounds great, dude. Uh, I don't know about the um, loss of power, though. We're about to see if it's really lost or I'm just tripping. Yeah, that Kia didn't have to get back over, but the BMW, BMW got back over as well. They didn't have to. That was my fault. I get over so quickly, you know. Cars are waiting, waiting, turn their turn signal on, I just get over. See, the people that just turn their turn signal on and get right over, those people I'll get mad at. But those people, that's not my, like, that's my fault. That's not their fault. I can't get mad at them. If you're getting mad and you're a biker, then you need, uh, you need to learn some more about the road first. Because they technically have the right of way. We're the ones going over speed limit. Yeah, those are both red lines. <laughs> Maybe that was four seconds. I don't know. We'll see in the editing. 